Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. I'm a dressage trainer, instructor, competition judge, and USDF bronze medalist. Thanks so much for joining me today. And if it is your first day here, welcome to my equestrian YouTube channel. Be sure to click the red subscribe button just below this video and you will see new content every Tuesday and Thursday. I mainly focus on horse training tips, rider position tips, and product reviews. Today I want to talk to you guys about an exercise in the dressage test. Mostly you see this exercise in first level in the trot or in second level in the canter. The exercise is a three loop serpentine. So when I was in, in the judges program learning how to become a judge, they, the, the instructors told us about certain exercises that we should look out for and make sure certain things do or don't happen. So the one thing that they told us about the exercise of the three loop serpentine is that the geometry has to be correct. The meaning that a three loop serpentine consists of three half 20 meter circles. It doesn't consist of any square parts. So in other words, if you start your three loop serpentine at the letter A, do not ride into that first corner. Start it at A and immediately do a half 20 meter circle until you get to the center line. And then do another half 20 meter circle until you get back to the center line. And then do another half 20 meter circle until you get towards C. This is a tricky part because a lot of times when we're almost done riding our, our three loop serpentine, we're like, whew, glad that's over. So you forget that you're riding another half 20 meter circle and you accidentally ride into your corner at C. So you have to be careful that you do not use your corners when you're riding in a three loop serpentine. The purpose really of the three loop serpentine is to show suppleness and equal bending. As you're riding a three loop serpentine, you need to show a clear change of bend as you cross over the center line. We're looking for uniform concavity from the horse's pull through his tail in the direction that you're traveling. So if you start your three loop serpentine at let's say A and you are tracking left, you want to be sitting to the in your left sitting bone, bending your horse to the left until you get to the center line. And if you're posting and you're in the trot, then you want to change your post and you want to, at, at when you get to the center line, change the horse's bend, get into your other sitting bone and go tracking right, asking your horse to bend uniformly from his pole through his tail in that new direction that you're traveling. And then same thing when you finish up your serpentine in your last loop. The third tip I have for your three loop serpentine is to try your best to position the top of your second loop at either B or E. If you do that, then you know that all three loops are pretty equal. Your, your first loop isn't tiny, your last loop isn't tiny want to try and make all three loops um, equal in size, all three loops a half 20 meter circle this way, that way, and this way. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate that for you now. I have my horse Roman and uh, we're going to video uh, what a correct three loop trot serpentine looks like. Thank you. 
I hope you're able to see when I was riding that I was trying to make all three of my loops equal, that I avoided my first and my last corner so that I'm not using any corner when I'm riding a three loop serpentine so that all three loops are have rounded parts. All three loops I'm doing a half 20 meter circle. And I hope you're able to see also that I was changing my horse's bend every time I went over the center line. I hope you were able to see the suppleness while we were maintaining a steady tempo in the trot. And I hope you're under... <laughs> And I hope you are able to see the importance of doing this exercise and how it can help your horse become more supple. When you start to move up the levels, you will do smaller figures like this, but still the same rules apply. Suppleness, steady tempo, equal balance, tracking left and tracking right. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope this helps you guys ride correct three loop serpentines. I hope you're going to go out and show and get very high marks for this exercise. Thanks again for joining me. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up, be sure and share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!